Sir, hey, what, what do you know about Nikola Tesla? I, I don't know, man. I'm in the wrong workout. What? Tesla. Tesla? Yeah. Dude, I have been so waiting to ride in one of those things. I've heard that they are so fast, man. Like the car? Well, what do you mean? Of course I like the car. Oh. What, what do you know about Edison? Edison? The yeah. guy who invented the light bulb? What do you know about Edison? Dude, he's the guy who invented the light bulb. Tesla and Edison taking a stand against each other. A documentary by Elliot Cantor. Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla were two of the greatest minds of the age of electricity. The lesser known side, however, is the intense rivalry that stood between the two of them. This rivalry was later known as the War of the Currents because of their dispute over which type of current was superior alternating or direct. Tesla and Edison took a stand against each other in a battle of which current was superior. Tesla was for AC and Edison was for DC. So to start off, let's understand exactly how the two types of currents differ from each other. Edison's DC, which stands for direct current, let electricity flow constantly in one way. And Tesla's AC, which means alternating current, used a type of wave-like pulse of energy. Today we use AC power instead of DC, mainly because it is much more efficient over long distances. However, if the current can be used in modern technology that uses semiconductors like silicon, then it must be converted to DC. The conversion wastes lots of energy, mainly as heat, but unfortunately it is necessary for our current apparatus of AC generators in silicon-based electronics. It is clear now that there are pros and cons to each side of the argument, while AC won in the end, or its distance efficiency is even more valuable than the efficiency lost in converting to DC. Many think of Edison as the man dubbed father of electricity. Actually, Tesla was the main brain in the invention, while Edison had superior marketing skills. Both of these two geniuses grew up as very curious children. Edison sold newspapers and even experimented with chemical reactions, while Tesla designed motors and other inventions in a more simple sense, for example, using bugs to make a spinning wheel. As an adult, Tesla had laboratories to experiment with electricity. Many of the feats that he did still baffle scientists today. He was able to make balls of fire and electricity dance around in his hand, use wireless electricity to light up the area with bulbs. He could stand and let extreme amounts of electricity dance over his skin without it hurting him, and he even demonstrated the electricity by killing small animals, but more on that later. Around that time in Nikola's life, he pointed out some of the flaws in Edison's direct current and suggested the use of alternating current that sends cycles of energy. This, of course, was the beginning of the rivalry between the two inventors. Thomas Edison used marketing strategies and harsh propaganda to attack Tesla and get his point across. One of his strategies was a cruel method of electrocuting stray animals in order to show that Tesla's AC was dangerous and inhumane. While animal cruelty is horrible, both men actually electrocuted animals. So what is your opinion on Edison saying that he used AC to electrocute animals? Well, you're talking about in 1893, they went to the World's Fair, and the World's Fair basically was your form. It was the Sears book of the day, or it was the internet of the day to kind of promote your items that you were trying to sell. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, what Edison did was raunchy and wrong. It was kind of genius. What he did is he took cows and large animals, and he would take his only direct current because he didn't really have access to um, Tesla's alternate current. Right. And he would prod these animals and kill them in front of like masses of people. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing more that you can do to kind of convince someone that something's dangerous rather than show it to them in person. So while it was wrong and he was using his own current to kill these animals, um, it was effective. It did put a little bit of a staunch in the progression of 
alternate current for Tesla and ultimately Westinghouse, who had purchased his inventions for about $40,000. That was a great interview with Bella. I'm so glad she could have come. She actually personally gave me a gift of this Tesla coil to me. I wonder where she got it. Jimmy, this is John. Jimmy John here. I got motion detector in your section. Do you, do you read me? Jimmy? Jimmy, do you read me? I'm, I'm pull, picking up something over there. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It's her again. Hmm. Oh, well. It is said that Edison electrocuted an elephant named Tops, or Topsy, who had killed three men using electrocution. The footage prior to the execution is shown here, although the death is not in the following footage. Now, Edison did kill animals using electricity, but the killing of Topsy was actually not Edison's doing, despite what the press had said. Topsy was killed years later, almost a decade, and was killed with a combination of poison, electrocution, and hanging. Edison himself took no part in the execution. Rather, the reason his name was given was because it was the Edison Electric Company that had supplied the necessary charge to kill Topsy. To this day, Thomas continues to receive most of the credit. The name, Thomas Edison, is simply more recognizable than Nikola Tesla. Despite the strange distribution of credit, America is powered by AC in homes because of its efficiency over long distance. Now Tesla does get a bit of recognition in some cases. The car company Tesla, which makes electric cars, is called Tesla, not Edison, and appropriately so for the motor inside uses AC. Now, Tesla coils are these towers, this one is smaller than some others, that store up energy and release it in a way that can produce bolts of lightning on a much smaller scale. Surpassing the neglect it has received, Tesla's reputation has been strengthened by other means of popular culture, including cartoons, like this one from The Oatmeal. It says here, but I thought Edison was the father of the electric age. Nope, it was Tesla. Even a rap song has been made about Tesla versus Edison. So you can call me Tesla, Nikola, dress. Yep. As you can see, Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison are both genius inventors who revolutionized the world that we live in today. They both took a stand against each other in what is known as the War of the Currents during the 19th century. The outcome of the long-lasting feud between the two is a world-changing new concept that really lit the world for the first time. In the end, it seems safe to say that Tesla won the war, with AC being used nationally, all across America, and developing nations alike. The genius of these two men may never be compared to by anyone else for quite a while, for without them, electricity would not have developed into what it is today. Sir, what do you, what do you know about Tesla? Nikola Tesla? Yes. Nikola Tesla, 1856 to 1943? Yeah. That one? Born in Croatia? Died in New York City? Yeah. Inventor of everything under the sun? Yeah. Nemesis of Edison? Nemesis of Westinghouse? One of the guys who really formed the modern world as we know it? That Tesla you're asking me about? Finally, yes, that Tesla. Kid, who doesn't know about Tesla? Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Yeah. What do you know about Edison? Edison? Yeah. The guy who invented the light bulb? Exactly. And now the moment we've been waiting for is here. I, I have something to tell you.